I want Taylor to do a Taylor's version of everything. Like every song that's ever been released by any artist, I want to have Taylor's version. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Sophia Maffei and I'm a vocal coach, singer and actress. And today, me and my little cat are going to react to Taylor Swift from The Vault. And we're gonna try not to cry, aren't we, Holly? I don't think she's making any promises just yet. We've all been anticipating these songs for so long and as a Swifty who's been following Taylor's career since the very, very beginning, this particular era really just speaks to me in a way that, that I just cannot explain. It's not exactly musically speaking my favorite kind of music that she does, but from a pure emotional connection and nostalgia, Fearless takes it home, no doubt. So I am so excited, oh my god, I can't believe that she's had these songs in the vault for so long. I mean, they're probably gonna be mind-blowing. But with that being said, I'm gonna stop rambling because I'm really Really nervous like guys I'm seriously shaking so before you see me dissolve into a puddle of Taylor inflicted tears please make sure that you give this video a big thumbs up if you like it subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click on that bell icon so you'll be notified of all my future videos I post here twice a week on Wednesdays and Saturdays but you can also follow me on Instagram if you'd like to see updates of my day-to-day -day life my editing and to be fair videos of my cat that is pretty much what my Instagram is about now without any further ado let us listen to the Queen the Queen is addressing the nation Taylor Swift from the vault <laughs> I'm squealing! You guys, I am so excited. What a great day to be a Swifty. I mean, every day is a great day to be a Swifty, but yeah, you know what I mean. The first song from The Vault is called You All Over Me and it features Marin Morris. Marin Morris, am I pronouncing that correct? Oh, those guitars, they're already so Taylor. Oh, the country. Oh my God, the country vibes. Once the last drop of rain, shouldn't I find a stain? Oh. Never do. Oh, her voice is so much more prominent now than it was back then. They leave a muddy underneath, reminds me of you. Oh, there is nothing that Taylor would write that I wouldn't listen to. Find graffiti on the wall. Oh, nice. Of all bathroom stalls. The only person who could talk about graffiti in bathroom stalls and make it sound emotional is Taylor Swift. But like the dollar in your pocket, it's been spent and traded in. Oh, nice. <sighs> Taylor's range is criminally underrated. Have you listened to those low notes? I lived and I learned Oh nice and wasted time Oh my god I get out of here No amount of freedom gets you clean Still got you all over me Oh it's reminded me well of course of the song Clean Oh my god She's such a brilliant storyteller and I melted like a ch Oh, Taylor, you poet. I lived, I learned. The feature is really good. The harmonies are really clean. They're very country. And held on. Just getting to listen to this side of Taylor's musicality, this country sound, but with her newly found wonderful vocal technique is, oh, it's such a gift. Freedom gets you clean. I've still got you all over me. Oh, my God. Range is so beautiful. <sighs> How did this song not make it into the album? I feel like I'm gonna say that for every single song in this reaction. Better we were never really meant to be. So On a vocal level, she's mixing all these different resources just in those couple lines. Let's listen to that little bit again. Better we, better we. She's mixing that chest with that head voice. We're never really meant to be. So it's so nice. We're never really meant to be. So she's going on the never and the meant with a very full, powerful chest voice. And then she's adding a little bit of breath in the middle to make it more nuanced. There's such tiny details, but things like this is what makes Taylor such an amazing storyteller. She is in this really low range, which a lot of people are not impressed by. And you know, they'd be wrong because wonderful things are not just sopranos and tenors. No amount of freedom gets Oh, she's so nice to listen to. Me. I just feel at home. You are all over me. Taylor collapsed so well with 
everyone. The next song from the vault is Mr. Perfectly Fine. And I am very, very excited about this one because I know this one is about Joe Jonas because I saw Sophie Turner posted a story about how this song was incredible, which I just find so amazing. Look at all the years that have passed and all the drama and back and forth and honestly, horrible backlash that Taylor's always had to put up with from the media, but now, they're all, you know, getting along. Was it Joe and Sophie that Taylor referred to in one of her folklore songs when she was talking about sending her ex's baby's presents? I think, I think she was talking about them. I'm just, I'm just in love with the way that this story has ended, but I really like that we get to listen to this song now with this new fresh perspective, but I'm fully expecting to cry with this one. So here we go, Mr. Perfectly Fine from The Vault, yes. Ooh, the instrumentation's already different. I like it. Ooh, nice guitars. The perfect face. Oh. Mister looked me in the eye and told me you would never go away. Oh, hello, range. Mister, I've been waiting for you all my life. Oh, Taylor's songs are so catchy. Let's listen to that again. Mr. Always at the right place at the right time. Nice open note. Time. She starts with a really nice deep note. Time. And then thins it out really nice. Mr. Casually cool. Oh, she's a poet. Oh my god. If this song had been included in Fearless, it would have been my favorite. It would have been. How has this been in the vault? How has she had this kept from us for so long? What? Taylor? Forgets he ever even heard my name. Nice. Open notes. Thought you might be different than the rest. I guess you are the same. Oh, it's so nice to hear how she's adding all the elements that she's learned in the past couple years. I don't know why, but I'm getting a little bit of an Evermore vibe here and there, just from a vocal standpoint. Because I hear he's got his arm around a brand new girl. I've been picking up my heart, he's been picking up her. Oh, that's fun. That's what you put me through. Well, not fun, it's devastating. To see that it never faced you. Ooh, nice. It's wonderful. Nice, very thin sound. Perfectly fine. How's your heart after breaking my Oh god. Nobody does a love song like Taylor Swift. Nobody. Nobody. Baby, hello, Mr. Casually Why am I dancing to this song? I should be crying. And you're Mr. Perfectly fine. Oh my god, I am I am gonna be crying so much over this song. I'm in a very happy relationship, guys, and I'm still connecting with this song. This is a bop. A bop, I tell you. This is so good. Oh my god, I want to be 13 again. Ooh. In the best room. Ooh, nice. In the best seat. In the best room. She's sort of flipping and crying into those notes. Let's listen to that again. It's a very Taylor thing to do. In the best seat. In the best room. I feel for Joe Jonas though. But feeling anything. Oh, Taylor, Taylor, no, again. But feeling anything. Anything. What note is that? Anything. That's a D. She's mixing that D so well. That didn't really sound that good, but you know what I mean. D, the note. It's really such a shame. Ooh, bring it back down. It's such a shame. Such a shame Cause I was miss here to stay Ooh. Now I miss gonna be alright someday Ooh. Be Mr. Too Late I am here for this storytelling Perfectly fine How's your heart after breaking my heart The right time What? I love you Nice, that 
that last was really good. Misery for the last time. Last time. She really leans on that L and flips it and makes it very open. Listen to that little bit again. Misery for the last time. And a little bit of like pushing in the four. For the last time. Well done. Mr. Perfectly. This is my new favorite. Oh my god. This woman can do no wrong. No, no wrong. This is incredible. Owned by Taylor Swift. Yes, yes, that is what we want to see. That is what we want to see. Mr. Perfectly Fine. I am Miss Perfectly Not Fine that this song has been in the vault for so long. How has this been kept from us for so long? I want Taylor to do a Taylor's version of everything. Like every song that's ever been released by any artist, I want to have Taylor's version. I really trusted that she was going to be able to make something amazing when she said that she was going to re-record her music, but a part of me was like, how is she going to make it work? How is she going to make it different? But little did I know that she had been keeping all of these wonderful songs from us and I've only listened to two so far. <sighs> the next song is called We Were Happy and I'm going to predict that this song is not going to make me happy because, you know, that is that is a misleading title, Taylor. I know you're going to make me cry. Like you always do. Yeah, it's already sad. Ooh, circus theme. Ooh, I like... Ooh, nice. Mm, I really like the design that they've done with Taylor's version from The Vault. It's really nice. We used to walk along the street mm. on the porch lights were shining bright. Mm, nice little breath. Listen to that little bit. Porch lights were shining bright. Shining bright. A little bit of breath in the bright. Or I had somewhere to be. Nice. And we were happy. A good while back. Mm, she's got such good resources with her voice. I guess you threw when I deserved it. She's so good applying those little breaks in the notes and then elongating the ones that she needs to. Just listen to that tiny bit. Of you threw your arms around my neck back when I deserved it. So that back when is really syncopated, it's really nice. And we were happy. Ooh, who's that? Is this a featured song? No, it's just her. It was good. I wonder if it's her doing the harmony. Oh, oh, no one could touch away we <gasps> Is that Joe? Oh, I wonder if that's Joe. At your daddy's farm, we were gonna buy some It's a really nice harmony. Who's here? Who's in this song? That's not just Taylor. On the boats in the water. Because mm. we were happy. Ooh, nice. At your daddy's farm, we were gonna buy some. How is this? How is this in the vault? Oh, I hate those boys. Nice. They don't give me joys. Nice. But they don't. Really nice. It's right there in the middle of her first passage. That's really, really nicely mixed. To be in a scene. They don't give nice. me choices. They don't give me choices. She's really thinning out that sound. But they don't give me nice. And a little bit of chest power there. Cause we were happy. Oh, I love the breath and happy. We were happy. A little bit of vibrato in where. We we were happy. Well done. Aren't you were gonna make I, I just, I just can't. Me. <gasps> Plot twist. Who is she talking about? You were gonna marry me. Oh my god. This is so Taylor. It's so incredible. Happy. Happy. Oh. oh. 
so in love with her voice, honestly. Whoever says that Taylor is not an amazing vocalist clearly has no idea what they're talking about and they think that good vocalists are just people who can sing really high notes. That is an amazing vocalist right there. I think she got her very much deserved success from her songwriting skills, the way that she connects with the audience, her stage presence is just unbelievable and she didn't start off as the best vocalist in the business, that is true, but she's evolved and she's learned so much and she is now so in control of her voice. Like this was just a display of so many vocal resources. Like, and it, she makes it sound so effortless. She is such a criminally underrated vocalist. Next song is called That's When. That's when I fell in love with you, Taylor. <gasps> this is the Keith Urban song. Oh, I'm so, I'm so excited. She made a post about how she used to be the opening act for Keith Urban when she was first starting out. And now she has him featured in one of her songs that she's re-releasing after everything that's happened to her. Like, this is such a nice end of the circle. This is incredible. I'm not that familiar with Keith Urban's music because to be fair, Taylor is the only country artist that I ever like really listen to. So I, I wanna be surprised. Oh, very nice imagery. And I knew my words were hard to hear and harder to ever take back. Oh, she's such a clever lyricist. I, I, I come back. Ooh, nice. I like that little. Nice, very 2000s. And that's when, when I wake up in the morning late. So much chest power. I'm crying. Crying. And she cries into the note when she says crying. That's so clever. And I'm crying. Nice. Let you in. Whoa. And baby, that's when. Nice. Oh my god, I'm so happy we're getting these songs now. It's so good, you guys, I can't repeat this much more. This is incredible. Incredible work. Well done, Taylor. I love you. I said I know. Mm. Said I did you wrong, made mistakes, mm. put you through all of this. Oh, he's so good, isn't he? Tears and I said leave those all in our past. Oh, he's so good as well. He adds that little country cry. I'm not the best at country technique, but I mean, Keith Urban is a country legend. He does this really clever things. Said leave those all in our past. Listen to the way that he says past. Said leave those all in our past. I can't do that. It's so clever. Yeah, yeah, come back. Oh, I love that I, I, I. It's very 2000s. And I'm crying. Oh, this is such a country bop. I'll be waiting at the front gate, that's when And baby, that's when Oh my, I love this! Everybody's been saying for so many years that they wanted Country Taylor back and they go back to your roots and this and that and not letting her grow and guys, this is what you wanted. This is Country Taylor. This is Taylor at her finest country moment. This is so good! I'm so excited for her! Oh my god, Red is going to be unbelievable. Red is going to be incredible. You guys, the love songs we're gonna get in Red in the re-release are gonna be insane. Insane, I'm saying it now. And I said, that's when, when I woke up. Yeah, bring it back. It was sunny or storm and late. Lead up to a bit crescendo. It's crying. And that's when. Yeah, that's Taylor Songwriting 101. You let me in. Nice, that let me in. Yeah. I like the backing vocals. That's when she still got it. She still got the country vibes. She is a country girl at heart. I am so proud of her. I don't want this to end. I don't want this reaction to ever end. I want to keep listening to her for the rest of the day, of the week, of the year. This is so good. The next song is called Don't You. Don't you dare break my heart, Taylor. Don't you dare. You already have, so don't break it again. I love the imagery in these lyric videos. They're really nice. I knew I'd run into you somewhere. Oh. It's been a while. She's such a brilliant storyteller. Oh, that was so cute. While I didn't mean to stare. <sighs> oh, that's giving me vibes from another Taylor song. This is the 
ultimate breakup song. Ultimate break. This is insanely good. Insanely good, you guys. What? such a nice wordplay oh my god taylor why am i surprised she's she's 21st century shakespeare so that's so wise a really nice cry into it still so so very nice that little sort of pressure at the beginning I really wish that Reminded me of another Taylor song. I can't think of which one it is. Maybe future me while I'm editing will remember. Can't blame you for thinking that you never really knew me at all. My heart knows what the truth nice. I swore I wouldn't do this. Oh, the production in this song is so so good! It's got a really nice beat in the back, but it's such a heartbreaking song. How was this hidden from us? Oh my god, Taylor. Taylor, take my heart, take it. Nice. Don't you? Oh my! Don't you smile? The backing vocals are definitely not fearless era Taylor. There's something she learned way later in life. I love seeing it here. If you don't want me again. This is giving me 1989 vibes. Doesn't anyone else get that? It's like a fearless era song produced as now which is exactly what it is because it's from the fearless era but she's doing it now with everything that she's learned so far the last song from the vault is called bye bye baby and don't you worry guys i'm going to react to the full fearless taylor's version album in the next video because i can't hope to do the whole thing at once because it's 26 songs this girl gave us an hour and 46 minutes of music Hmm, bit different. Oh, I'm in love with this. I feel like a child again. It wasn't just like a movie. Mm. The rain didn't soak through my clothes. This is the last time I drive this way again. Her lower range is so underrated. I've spoken about it in this video already, but let's just, just listen to that little bit again. Last time I drive this way again. Oh my God, you guys, that is an F3. What? Taylor is a soprano, and for those of you guys who don't know, sopranos are the highest end of the range as far as female voices goes. She's giving us that note with no breath. She didn't even make it the slightest bit breathy. What? Last time Listen to that again. This way again. She just sounds like that is very comfortable in her range, which it obviously is, but like... That is ridiculous! Again, it's so low. Her range is so big. It's so big. Why do people not think she's a good vocalist? She's incredible. I still love you, but I can't. Nice! I still love you, but I can't. Bye bye to everything. Bye bye, baby. Nice little run. Bye bye, baby. Taylor is so nice to listen to. Baby. She's got one of the nicest voices to listen to in music today. I mean, Taylor can just make you feel at home whenever you listen to her. You just feel like you're cuddled up by the fire with like a nice blanket and a cute cat. It's just, her voice is so warm. Baby. And there she's adding the breath. I see you riding on the dash. Oh, nice. Everything. <laughs> Her vocal technique. What? Coming a part of your pain. So nice. Let's listen to that again. Coming a part of your pain. 
nice open note with a cried little oh it's so nice I love your pain. oh bye bye but you just couldn't keep me there's so much thing oh the bridge but it's not I am 13. This is incredible. How did this song not make it into the record? Who made the choice to keep this in the vault? I want to speak with them. I want to have a word with them. This is not okay. We could have been listening to this bop for like the past, what has it been? 12 years? 11 years? I don't remember at this point. How long has it been? It's been 13 years, right? Thir 13 years. Has it been 13 years? That'd be very funny. Give me that again. Oh, I want to see that live. Oh, I want to see this live so much. Oh, you took me home. I thought you were gonna keep me. Hi, baby. Ooh, nice little breath. Bye bye, baby. Oh, oh my god. I, I, I need help. I need I am so in need of a hug right now. Oh, I need my cat. Where's my cat? I need my cat. Thank you for coming to comfort mama. Oh, she's giving me her ball. She's giving me her ball, you guys. Oh, I love you. So that was Taylor Swift, Fearless from The Vault. I am now going to go re-listen to all the songs again and again and again and again because they're all bops and I can't believe she's kept them from us for so long, especially Mr. Perfectly Fine and Bye Bye Baby. And honestly, the one with Keith Urban was really good too. I think that was That's When. Oh, and, and, and Don't You was really good too. Oh my God, they were all great. They're all great. I can't choose. Like my children, I can't choose. Hello, Bubba. Hello. She seems really comfortable here. That's no problem, it's a Taylor video. She'd be fine with me having a cat, wouldn't she? As I said before, I'm going to be posting my reaction to Taylor's version of Fearless, the full album with all the re-released songs really soon. She just released so much music all at once. I mean, I am on cloud nine. My birthday is in a couple of weeks. This is an early birthday present from Taylor to me. So thank you very much, Taylor. I don't think that you're gonna be watching this, but if you are, I love you and I've been following you for so long. I am so, so elated with these songs. I love them. And if you love them just as much as me, and if you like my reaction, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and click on that bell icon so you'll receive notifications of all my future videos. Now you're tired. Yeah, you're tired, you wanna go down? Yeah, there you go. Ooh, I've got hair in my mouth. If there's anything you'd like me to make a video about, please don't forget to leave it down in the comments below, or you can also hit me up on the socials. I'll leave the links for all that in the description box below. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you have a great week, and why wouldn't you? Taylor's released new music, so we do a little happy dance. If you wanna see more of my videos, like reactions, reviews, covers, or vocal tips, you can click on the link that's right there on your screen, and I'll see you over there. I'll see you next time, and happy singing.